Across the animal kingdom, gifts are an important part of the mating ritual. Some birds woo their mates with fresh caught fish. Humans, we opt for shiny rocks. And now, some dating websites are cutting straight to the give and take, connecting young women with rich older men to trade their youth and beauty for his cash and prizes. We got our first look inside these mutually beneficial arrangements last summer. And tonight we bring you the jet setting new twist on the sugar baby dating game. Here's ABC's Alex Perez. You never know where you're going to find love online, through a friend, possibly even at your doorstep. I was told that come back. But for the right price, and legally, a young college student could come knocking. Meet 63-year-old Tommy and 21-year-old Monty. They've been together for two years. Oh, I'm just not. Feeling oh, hole in one. Oh, I love them. Well, yeah, they look great. <laughs> They're fun. Yeah, they are. <laughs> Thank you for them. You're welcome. They refer to each other as sugar daddy and sugar baby. Give me a kiss. Oh. That's like high five, right? Yeah. Except it's a lot better. It's powerful. <laughs> when she needs money, Tommy's her go-to guy. Oh, and for Monty, who asks we only shoot her in profile, it's a way to get the education she can't afford. He's like, I can help you get through school easy. And you just travel with me, have fun, be around me, and just keep me company. And I said, sure, are you going to pay for my school? We observed that being a sugar baby comes with other perks. We're going to do a little shopping today. Last June, Tommy told us he drops five grand a month on Monty. Ooh. Isn't that hot? These earrings with a pair of high heel shoes, great outfit. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Whoa. God. Did you say 387? 387.25. Fine. And it's not just Monty. He's got six other sugar babies. Thank you so much. This is what we call the lost and found drawer. This is what some of my lovely sugar babies have left behind. Tommy was an IT executive who retired with enough to spend about 150000 a year on the ladies combined. When you walk into a room and you have a beautiful woman with you, it's, it's a compliment to you as a male. It's, it's like pulling up in a really nice car or something, you know. I hate to compare that way, but it is. It has a good feel to it. So Monty's like a really nice car. Yeah. And like a car, these relationships might not last forever, though they start out promising. He taught me how to golf, cook, be a classy woman. He's just transferred me fast into something that I've always wanted to become. When was the last time you had a job? Almost two years ago. I'm just having fun. I'm just living life and experiencing stuff that I feel like I would never experience without him. If there were no sex involved with Monty or your other sugar babies, would you still bring them around for companionship and still give them money? No. Sexually, how have things been different for you? I mean, he's much older than you. It is what it is. Are you paying for sex with a young girl? Well, you know, you, you pay somehow, somewhere for sex, no matter what it is. You know, they say wives do it for refrigerators. You could look at, I mean, I'm sure. There's somebody right now and saying that's exactly what this is. And if they want to say that, they can say that. Tommy is thrice divorced and is the father oh. of two young adults around Monty's age. He meets many of his sugar babies on SeekingArrangement.com. How is it different than prostitution? If we're talking about exchange for money for sex, I don't see that this way. It's just not a wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. The courts have decreed that as long as a woman is being paid for services besides sex, such as companionship, the act does not classify as prostitution, wonderful. an argument the website owner also makes. If the sugar daddy is in fact meeting a girl um, simply for sex in exchange for money, then they're using the website in violation of our terms of agreement. Wade says 10% of the 2 million registered members are sugar daddies and mommies, 90% sugar babies. It is really about a romantic relationship between two people. The only difference is the sugar daddy is somebody who is very wealthy. Now Wade is branching out with mistravel.com. Are you attractive but you don't have the money to travel? Which connects attractive women with generous men to go on exotic trips. All paid for by the men. 2020 went along recently with Sabelle and Steven on a weekend trip to Cabo San Lucas in Mexico, where they met for the first time. Hello there. <laughs> how are you? Sabelle, how are you? Good. Good to meet you. The meeting is a little awkward, interrupted by margaritas. 
Cheers. Steven, so nice to meet you. Yeah, you I too. The first moment I met him, I was very nervous because I'm a bit of a hopeless romantic, and of course, I like to assume all the possibilities, what can happen. The next day, Steven takes a belt sailing on a 52-foot yacht Come on. and turns up the romance. There you go. What's your favorite part about Kaba? I think my favorite part about Kaba is uh, being here with you. Aww, you know? charmer. Even taking a page from Titanic to score the magical first kiss. This is good for your game. Kind <laughs> of hot girl. But you don't have to be a millionaire to be a sugar daddy. There are sugar babies on different levels. You know, you've got your Walmart sugar babies and you've got your Neiman Marcus sugar babies. Or those who shop at Target, like 24-year-old sugar baby Olympia. Love this dress. Dave, Mike, and you. A full-time student at a broadcasting school in Denver when we met her last summer. A hundred percent of my school fees, which is fifteen thousand dollars, is paid for by sugar daddies. Olympia's been a sugar baby since she was 19. I've gotten to go to the Caribbean. I've gotten to travel all across the nation. I just got some brand new boobs. Um, Life's great. And is a pro at juggling several sugar daddies at a time. Yeah, I'm about to go meet a prospective sugar daddy. Um, he has potential. He's really nice, easy to be around, easy going. After dinner, it's time to pack for a long weekend in Louisiana where she's meeting up with her main sugar daddy, Larry. How are you doing, dude? Except this is Kenny. Olympia's secondary sugar daddy, who's come by the airport to see her off. The encounter is short. Do you need cash? you need some money? Yes. But for Olympia, $500 later, yes. lucrative. Thank you. Larry! This is the first time Larry and Olympia have seen each other in six weeks. Larry is a Mormon from Utah. You are a fool. They've been in a sugar baby daddy relationship for a year and a half and claim their relationship is not what you might expect. Is there sex in this relationship? No. No sex. Not at this point. And we don't believe in having premarital sex. Is this like a perfect scenario for you? Oh yeah. Which is have someone who gives you money and you don't have to sleep with them. Have some money that gives you money. I don't have to sleep with them. They respect me. They let me be myself. Yeah. A dream. A dream that comes at a cost. Sometimes it gets to me to know that he is my only way of income and that makes me feel like, you know, I'm not really doing anything. Sometimes being in a sugar baby, sugar daddy relationship, it does get lonely for me because I can't always, that person can't always be there for me when I need them to be. An emotional loss they believe is worth the financial gain. For Nightline, I'm Alex Perez in Shreveport, Louisiana.